What's up, everyone? Uh, we're back with another video. I'm kind of leaning between my door and the car because it's really windy uh, today in Maryland for some reason. But we're going to show you what I got the past week or so. So I've had this for a week. It's parent rear, rear mount inserts for the torque of the motor, the car when you hit the gas. And then this is a Rev9 and a cooler that I got in the mail today. I just unboxed it. One reason I didn't film it because it had like 70,000 staples holding everything together. But um, what we're going to do is go to my buddy's shop after I get off work today. And we're going to put everything on and then... Hopefully everything can go straight, but there's no tune required. But after I get everything put on, I'm gonna put K tuner on and probably a uh, Ferble tune, and we'll see how well it holds up. So we'll see you when we get to the shop. We're here now, about to take the front bumper off. About to take the front bumper off now. So after you got the front bumper off, there's two 10 or 12 mils, I don't know which ones. And you gotta take the shrouding off the back and then your inner cooler will come off after you take the bracket off. I just wanna get it to where it, uh, what it looks like next to the other inner cooler. Look how big of a difference that is. How much bigger, that's so small. It is. But I guess we just got we got to take the O-rings out and then put them back on this one. I mean, it's one of the easiest cinder coolers ever. But just just reverse everything the way you took it off, and then we're taking these off because it doesn't sit straight. So just make sure all your O-rings are. We took this off to make it easier, but just make sure all your O-rings are off the old one and on the new one. And then we're gonna move to the rear mount next, and then should be done. 19 out of 19 to take this mount off. Oh my lord, my ears. I don't know where the other ones are. Oh. Let's see. So what we'll do is. Put some nice old lube in the greases. So we'll do that, and then you can see the grooves align with. That yeah, it's right there. pretty, it's not that hard to, Shove to misjudge that. And then we'll we make sure you put some. So they are somewhat kind of stiff to get in yeah. at first because they kind of hit each other. Well, make sure you put some lube on the outside mm -hmm. so it slides in there all nice. in there how small the down plate so is let's see. Like this. So these are kind of it kind of sucks getting this back in because it's a yeah. lot wider than the stock mount was i see everybody use a mallet to get it back in once they have it kind of yeah, like in depends. place Sometimes well i can uh the yeah let's just say i can i can pull, push on it while you're oh, hold up and pop that back up Ew. So mine didn't touch each other like that. Oh, yep, there we go. Okay. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, so hold on. let me get it started. Okay. Yeah, I'll let go. Can you hold that right there? Way you'll be able to really tell if it leaked if it if it don't build no pressure, but everything's on tight with their rings, so should, should be straightforward. Yeah, I'm just happy the uh, the front bumper went back on really easy. Can't, 
can't really tell. And their coolers in there because it's black. Um, slap the GoPro on and uh, go for a nighttime drive on the way home. And uh, I guess tell you how it feels. Everything's all done. So already off the bat, already, I definitely notice the mount vibrations, at least from taking off. Um, I just want to make sure this inner coolers are. Well, it definitely feels a lot more solid, to be honest. A lot more solid. Wow, that's really nice. Wow. Wow, dude. Man, so basically right off the bat with the mount inserts I recommend 100% the shifting you feel is so much better too intercooler is really nice it's a lot smoother. Definitely the throttle distance is a little bit different, but I noticed it's normally like 17 PSI. That was like maybe 15, 16. Definitely a lot smoother. Um, this could continue driving and then uh, I don't really see any issues. Feels good. So basically, um, it gets dark now after the clocks went back an hour, so, but besides the point, that's why it's dark, but anyway, um, everything felt super good, um, the only thing I noticed was it wouldn't normally, like, stock in our cooler would build, like, 17-ish pounds max, I noticed, I think it peaked, like, 16, mostly stayed at 15, but... You can't even really see, well, the light's turned off, but you can't even really see it. And then if you don't have a rear mount, I would definitely invest getting one. Uh, definitely shifts so much better. I have Type R shifter with Acuity, like, I guess you could say Acuity parts on it. Dude, um, everything's amazing. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free. Like I was saying before I got rudely interrupted. Like I was saying before I got rudely honked at for no reason. Uh, if you don't have a rear mount, definitely get one. It's definitely worth it. Um, it's really not that bad as everybody else says it is. Um, but everything turned out really good. And then I know it's kind of dark. You can't really see. But I appreciate you guys watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. So basically another thing I wanted to add was, um, shit, now I forgot. Oh, so it really only took about, I want to say, what, maybe I got there at 5, and we were done by 5.50, mountain intercooler, taking the bumper off, putting it back on. So, I mean, if you watch videos and you know what you're doing, it should fly pretty easy. And, uh, like I said, if you guys like this video, um, I should have another one be coming up soon. Um, I definitely want to shout out, uh, Civics Unlimited. Um, we might be, uh, doing something together. And, um, Cameron Hill is definitely the man. He definitely got me to get one of these intercoolers. And, um, who else? High beam screw, man. You're the one, man. You're doing good. I can't wait to see what car you get next. And that'll be it. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.